All right, YouTube Nation. Hey, Josh here at a Columbia Company. But check this one out here. Let's revisit this project uh, right here. 40 by 64 home, also garage, then it connected here. 32 by 80 goat building, okay? So if you go back through the archive, you're going to see this building that I profiled. But uh, pretty muddy out here. But let's go on the inside here. What we did is we came off this job, and then another contractor is actually building out the inside here. But let's just, I'll show you the inside, what they're doing here. But before we go inside here, again, 29 gauge steel. But you can see right here, this is actually a plastic, you know, fake, I don't want to call it fake, but a facade look right there. All right. So a lot of times you'll see, you know, different, but that's actually a plastic right there, around there, that also lines the whole building there. But that's the setup on that. And you can see, obviously, the garage door is still waiting to get installed right there. But nice white. You see the black trim, or actually the black windows right there. But let's go inside here. I'll show you the setup here. So if you're thinking about maybe doing a barn dominium or pole barn home, post frame home with the goat section right here. So let me just step back and share with you right here. So that's going to be the home section. All right. And then obviously the goats are going to be rolling in right here. All right. And then right there, I have a pan over here. This is going to be the garage section. So you can see what we did right here. We put trusses four foot on center, as you probably see there. And then on the home section there, two foot on center. And they have another contractor coming in. You can see they're building out the loft or the second story right there. But you kind of get an idea. And they don't have the stair steps put in, but that kind of gives you the, let me just pan back a little bit, but you can see how, how that is set up right there. You can see two by six on a, on a concrete foundation, two by six stick framing, what we built there. And also on the goat section and we custom built, you can see there we use the lawn backer for these overhead doors, or actually for the, for the, uh, the Dutch sliding doors right there, custom built those. And then this one right here um, looks like an overhead door. I don't know what this thing's gonna be here. But anyway, kind of gives you an idea what's going on with that. And you can see the goat section right there. Again, four foot on center. Again, a 32 by 80. So dimensions on that. Again, 32 by 80 for the goats. And this section right here, 40 by 64. And then they're gonna have a livable home so we're gonna live in this, and then I also have a storage garage area, and then I also have the goats. And then obviously there's gonna be a partition. We'll come back and hit this again. I'll show you, but just want to give you an updated look at this. So give you some aesthetics. It's pretty muddy out here today, but uh, let me show you so you can kind of get a cursory look what this building looks like. All right, so let's just go around here. Let me see how muddy it is out here. I don't think it's real, real muddy. Yeah, it's pretty big on muddy. But uh, yeah, so let me just step back a little bit so you got an idea of what this looks like. All right, so pretty sharp looking building there if you're looking to design and something like that. Kind of gives you the feeling of a, look at that. So a wider rib panel there on the ceiling, as you can see there. Not a standing scene, but it kind of gives you the appearance wider rib there. You see a beautiful Dutch door. You see the windows around there. But let me just share with you. This is walk in here. A little windy out here. The wind's going to be 40 miles an hour today. But let's just hustle a little bit and I'll share with you. Check that out there. Just kind of give you some aesthetics of this building as I walk and as I talk. And again, comments always welcome on this. But uh, check that out. Pretty sharp, isn't it? different distinct you can see the wider rib even on the side in there so um, not your standard 29 gauge but a wider rib the end there it kind of gives you a pair of board bat but it's not board bat inside it's a metal siding and then you can see the dutch door sliders on the goat bed as well so what we did on this again we like i said we subbed out the uh interior work on that but we built the shell of this obviously two by six Stick framing, obviously pour the foundation. We had a subcontractor pour the foundation there. But that kind of gives you an idea there. And actually, I'll show you the back of this. We got a nice Dutch door on the back of the scope building as well. So, kind of, there you can see the roof line a little bit better. There's a wider rim on that. Again, not a standing scene, but 
but it's got that wainscot fake facade all along this building here. So a unique setup. And you can see the pens are set up as well. So there you go. All right. So for more interesting post frame pull barn buildings, but aesthetically this thing looks pretty sharp. I'll keep it lock and load right here. Again, comments always welcome. All right, till next one, keep it lock loaded. Attic lumber. Attic lumber since 1925.